Hi everyone, welcome back to a Spotlight on Stamping Plate series and these are all of the festive Christmassy plates that I've picked up recently. So I picked up a large bundle from Mo Yu. Um, it was half price and then I got stuck with customs charges so it might as well have been full price. I was raging. But anyway, um, I got all, oh wait, how many were there? 15, I think, plates. Uh, I'm not keeping all of them. These are the ones that I'm keeping. They're out of the wrappers. I'll show you the ones I'm not keeping. I'm going to store them away for gifts or giveaways or something like that. And I'll explain why I'm not keeping them as I show them to you. So this first one you would have seen last night in my nail art tutorial. This is number 17 and it's their Christmas Carol plate. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time going through individual images because I have so many plates to show you. But this has lots of lyrics for Christmas carols and snowflakes and um, bells and holly and lights and all that kind of thing. Angels, that kind of thing. I really liked the tiny little snowflakes and I liked the holly detail, the motifs around the corners and the baubles. And then um, I always am impressed with Mo Yu and their, the etching on their... Um, uh, text so that's why I decided to pick this one up so that is number 17 and the other one that I used last night was number two this is a snowflake plate and it's got lots of different snowflakes I think I prefer the, the ones on this plate they stamp a little bit better but yeah that's zero two and then for the ones I have not used yet this is number 45 everything by the way comes in this packaging it's the same packaging for everything Anyway, this is number 45 and it's those uh, vertical smaller images. So it's kind of, it's supposed to fit more uh, varied size nails. So I guess short and mid nails can work with these. And it's just got lots of cute images like the cats and the deer up here. I'm really impressed with the stockings and the snowmen. I have another plate with those on it as well, but different ones. So I'm really looking forward to doing some reverse stamping with them. Lots of just text, um, which I always find handy when you're doing manicures, obviously. Candy canes and ginger men and uh, Christmas trees. And then we've got more um, kind of blocked uh, images down here. So yeah, really like that. That's number 45. This is the other one um, with snow snowmen and stockings on it. So it doesn't have the background, but I really, really like these. Uh, the snowmen and Christmas trees down here. Lots of different types of snowmen. One with the umbrella, one with a Christmas tree. Very, very cute. Build a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? Um, anyway, and some snowflakes down here and all that kind of thing. So yeah. Oh, and Santa, please stop here. Lovely. So this one then, oh, that, that other one was 47. So that one there was 47. This one is number one and it has this lovely candy cane border. Well, what well, looks like candy cane. And then it's got this gingerbread house. So it's got lots of different uh, images um, making up this scene with the presents and Santa's sleigh with the reindeer and more snowflakes and Christmas tree, a decorated Christmas tree, which I think would be a really sweet thing to look at. Actually, maybe do a gradient stamp and put that on a green and um, base that might be cool so yeah i like the stars up here too so that's number one number six is kind of a thicker cross stitch one than the born pretty one i showed you it's got lights and hearts and snowflakes but i loved this holly here really really like that and oh, this is so weird it's december and a wasp just landed on the window outside unusually warm December, December here. Uh, anyway, there we've got a wrapped present, really love that. And then these kind of Christmassy jumper type motifs down here. So that is number six, very pretty. And another one of these kind of sweater type prints. I was humming and hawing over whether to keep this, but I really do love this sleigh in particular. I think that would work really well across my nails. And I just do love these Christmas tree, Christmas jumper patterns um, and this presents and all that kind of thing. So yeah, this is number 30. I think this might be one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm glad I'm keeping this one. 
because it, it definitely makes good use of the plate. I feel like there's not that much wasted space on this one. So that's number 30. And then we have another one of these cross stitch ones, but I'm a sucker for them. I do really, really love this kind of design and I'm hoping to get lots of use out of these um, this year. I know I have another one from Born Pretty, I think, but yeah, I love them. So again, that kind of knitted cross stitch kind of effect that you get in the patterns here. Really, really pretty. And that is number 31. So as I mentioned, there are a few that I am not keeping and as I go through them, I'll tell you why. Uh, this is number seven. This is basically a Santa, um, a Santa plate. I like it. I really, really, I was thinking maybe I should keep it. It looks like the Father Christmas, if you know the, this, the animated, it's like the snowman version, but for Father Christmas. It looks kind of like that Santa. And I really like it, but I feel like... I don't know if I would use Santa enough. I don't have kids and I like Santa. I like the image of Santa, but I just feel like I, there's so many other things that I would be drawn to that it seems a bit selfish to keep this one. So I think I'm going to pass that on to someone who would prefer it. That is number seven if you're looking for a Santa plate. Number 33 is this one. It has lots of tiny, teeny tiny images. And the only reason I'm not keeping it is because I have quite a number of these types of images already and I just felt like there was a lot of duplicates already in my collection. So this is number 33 and obviously 33 is hard for an Irish person to say so it's another good reason not to keep it. Then we have number 55. I already have this plate and I got this last year so that's why I'm not keeping it. It's a really pretty plate. You have already seen this and um, love this plate. It's, it's, it's a great, great plate. So that's number 55. 37 then just more of this kind of uh knitted type of a design and I just felt like I'd had I had too much so um that's why I'm giving it away it's also a little bit too short for my current nail length and the nail length I've kind of had for the last year so I'm not keeping number 37 for that reason number 35 then is this one, again, same reason, just another knitted one, and it looks very similar to the Born Pretty one. So that is another reason why I'm not keeping it, but I do quite like this design. And then number 56, this is another one that I kind of hummed and hawed about, but I do have quite a lot of snowflake motifs now at this stage. I do like the half moon effect up here, but I can just recreate that with the one I have. So yeah, just said I would pass this one on as well. This is number 56. So that will be going in a giveaway or to, you know, a friend. And then this is the last one. This is number eight. And this looks very similar to a nature one that I have from Moyu. So that is another reason why I'm giving this away because I kind of have a lot of these patterns already. I do really, really like this one. It's a good one for autumn and winter. So that is number eight. So guys and girls, let me know what you think. Do you think I should have kept any of the ones that I'm planning on giving away? Um, I'll probably store them away for next year and uh, keep them for Christmas then because I've sent out all my presents and I've done my giveaways for the, for the holiday season. So yeah, it'll be next Christmas. Um, I'll be storing them away like a little squirrel, like a little squirrel storing stamping plates. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the Mo Yu festive collection. I will be back again very soon with another video. Talk to you again. Bye.